here in the Ohio country, baby, on my lovely CBR 1000 double R. Good times, baby. But anyways, five mistakes that I see bikers make when it comes to motorcycle gear. Let's go for a ride. watching cycle cruises all on one motorcycle channel subscribe today number one is that a lot of riders get a helmet too big you know where it looks like they got a big old bobble head looking like charlie charles all head nobody <laughs> you know why because a lot of people they put on a helmet like they're correct size and they, they think it's, it's too tight so like dude i gotta get like a couple sizes bigger so it feels comfortable that's the worst thing you can do man whatever you do when don't go to you know when you go to the online retailers like revzilla or whatever amazon and you read the comments and they say get a uh, this helmet runs small or runs big don't listen to that talk guys do not get a helmet like a size or two sizes bigger. Measure the crown of your head with measuring tape and go by the chart for that particular helmet. Yes, when you get the helmet, it will be tight when you first get it. It will be uncomfortable, but it will break in, I promise you, after a couple of weeks. You know, I tell you, my Suwami MX Tour helmet, that is probably the tightest helmet I've ever had, ever. But it took a while, it took a good month to break in, but man, when it broke in, it fits like a glove now. But I tell you, in the past, I was one of those guys that listened to the commenters and, and said to get the helmet a size or two bigger. Uh, I used to wear, my head, head size is like a, a 58 millimeters and so it's a size medium in most brands and i used to get like an extra large or a double extra large and then yeah it fits great when you first put it on and then afterwards it's all rocking all around your head it's you don't want to help you know that that'll compromise your safety to have a helmet that's too big so that's the number one mistake that i see people make get the side go to pay attention to the sizing chart for the helmet and that's it don't listen to these busters out there number two is i see that motorcycle riders don't wear motorcycle pants i see a lot of you will wear your helmet you wear your jacket gloves uh, but you won't get pants or boots and these are probably two of the most important pieces of gear that you can get for motorcycle gear because I tell you guys if you go down your legs will take a beating I'm telling you listen to me your legs are gonna your knees and your legs are gonna take a beating how do I know because I went down on my Chinese scooter wearing jeans and some high tops and I tell you guys that my knees luckily I didn't get any damage or anything but my knees got scraped up pretty good and I had a huge bruise on the side of my leg could have been a lot worse after that I got motorcycle pants dude get motorcycle pants I'll tell you. number three when you do buy a motorcycle jacket I see a lot of bikers will not upgrade the back protector in the jacket usually the jackets come with this dosari flimsy foam back protectors which it, it doesn't protect nothing it's really just a cushion you want a ce level 2 back protector upgrade and if you like places like uh, revzilla they'll actually recommend the back protector for that particular jacket like this jacket that i have this agv sport corsa jacket and also the dragon jacket it takes there's only one ce level 2 uh, back protector that you can upgrade this jacket to but you definitely want to do that because i highly recommend and if you can't upgrade uh the back protector in that particular jacket or the 
jacket doesn't have a back protector definitely buy one that you can wear underneath that has straps that you can wear underneath the jacket because I'll tell you guys your spine is priceless you don't want to mess up your back man I tell you you mess your back up dude there's no coming back that's it it's over man you're gonna have pain and suffering and you're gonna there's gonna be problems from there on out pay that extra money and usually the back protectors are not that expensive we're talking anywhere from like fifty dollars to probably hundred and fifty dollars max or maybe two hundred dollars like I said you can't put a price on your spine and back man but anyways uh, number four mistake that bikers make when it comes to gear is they will put a laptop in their backpack that's bad do not do that guys that's a safety hazard because if you go down that back protector excuse me that laptop could end up causing damage to your neck or your back because you slam down especially if you don't have a back protector something that uh, you know that's going to protect the protection between the laptop and your back and you go down and that smacks up against your your back and possibly causes damage to your spine or back or whatever or also maybe uh, that bulk that's in your backpack it can snap your head back and cause whiplash or, or break your neck or, or something to that extent it's just dangerous to do instead of putting the laptop in your backpack buy a tank bag and put it in the tank bag so it's on the bike so that way you go down it's it's on the bike uh it, you know and it'll keep you it better on the, the bike than on your back and i say number five mistake that bikers make when it comes to gear is they will buy cheap boots i'm cheap guys i'll tell you but I learned my lesson when it comes to cheap gear. But I tell you, when it comes to boots, you get cheap boots most of the time. They will only last probably about a year, if you're a year or maybe two years, depending on how much you ride. And they usually don't provide that good of ankle protection. Uh, sometimes they do, but for the most part, I'll tell you guys, buy a good pair of boots. It, it'll be pricey, like these, like CD boots, like I have CD boots on right now. But, I'll tell you, these boots will last a long time. My last boots that I had, CD boots I had, lasted me five years. I just retired those boots. The zipper broke on them. <laughs> and then I got these boots here that are like, I use as hybrid boots. Uh, that I use on this bike and I use on my WR250R. Uh, but these are really, uh, these are the CD, tri CD Trial Zero boots. Uh, these are really for like trials, uh, you know, but it can be used for street and off-road. And it's not too uncomfortable like, uh, you know, straight up off-road boots. So that's why I wear them for both bikes. Because, you know, I'll switch up between bikes often in the same day and I don't feel like going home and changing boots. So it's nice to have a boot, a hybrid boot that I can wear with both bikes. Uh, but I'll tell you guys that if they're worth the price, CD makes the best boots. They really do, in my opinion, straight up. And it pays to get good gear. Like I said, you, you know, you may pay, I'll pay, what, a couple hundred dollars for those other CD boots that I had, like I said, last five years. Then some of you guys, you get $100 boots, $150 boots, and they last you for like a year, two years, and they're not even that good, good of protection. So you're really not gaining that much with those cheap boots. By the way, I'll include links to all of the gear that I have, my boots, my camel pants, helmet, everything, in the description and comment section of this video. Or go to my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab, My Gear, and those are current links to all of my gear, even my camera stuff and everything. And if you wanna see more of my videos, click on the menu tab, My Videos, all my videos are categorized in a various playlists to make it easier for you to navigate through my nearly over a thousand videos now crazy but anyways hit thumbs up if you like this video it really helps me get motivated when you hit the thumbs up it helps my channel helps me get motivated 
and I appreciate it. I appreciate all you guys. I wish you guys all the best. Wear gear. Don't be a squid out here on the streets, man. The squids you see out here on the streets, they never went down before. And I tell you guys, they, they a lot of people have to learn the hard way. Don't be like them and be hard-headed and have to learn the hard way. But anyways, uh, hey, subscribe to my all-in-one motorcycle channel. I appreciate all you guys. Take care. Until next time. Deuces. Hey, don't forget to check out my other YouTube channel that features the original bug out moto van that is designed and built by yours truly so that I can live in my van with my motorcycle. So hey, check me out at youtube.com forward slash bug out moto. Subscribe today.